What's up, sir? Run. I said, go, go, go. Are you going to fire your rifle when grenades are going off in your face? What the fuck are you even doing here? Sir! I got lost on the way to college, sir! <laughs> hey. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. And the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, sir. Do you maggots understand that? Sir, sir yes, sir. Bullshit, I can't hear you. Sound off like you got a pair. Sir, yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? Staff Sergeant Wilson. I uh, was a drone instructor with Echo Company, MCRD San Diego, for three years between 2013 and 2016. Prezi Plain James. <laughs> Alrighty guys, what is up? Now with the Beast checking in. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Anyways guys, like I always say, I like to bring variety to the channel. So today we have a video for you guys, something special. Uh, we actually have a drill instructor here to my left. So he's actually going to introduce yourself. Well, former drill instructor, my bad. But uh, yeah, he's going to introduce himself and we're actually going to talk about, you know, a little bit about the day in the life of a drill instructor and kind of what are the things that you can expect while, you know, going through recruit training. So without further ado, to my left, um, would like to introduce yourself. Hey, how you doing? Staff Sergeant Wilson. Uh, I was a drone instructor with Echo Company, MCRD San Diego, for three years between 2013 and 2016. Yeah, that's crazy because we're actually in the car and we're actually driving over here. And the crazy thing is, like, he actually knew my like my seniors or like the ones that were actually training with me. So that's pretty crazy how like how small the, the Marine Corps is. It's, it's weird. But anyways, guys, we're gonna dive into the questions. We're just gonna kind of freestyle this. Um, and uh, yeah, so you guys, so first question. Uh, so pretty much, you know, why did you enlist? You know, why did you decide to join the Marine Corps? Uh, so I enlisted in 2007. Uh, honestly, I joined the Marine Corps because uh, where I'm from, it's not a lot to do. So you either go to college, join the military, go to jail. So I, I decided to pick the middle route and <laughs> the Marine Corps was it. <laughs> Hell yeah. So definitely it's, it was a stepping stone for you to kind of, you know, spread your wings or something. Yeah, just to get away from home and uh, just try and find something new. Okay. So as far as, you know, being a drill instructor, why, why exactly did you choose that route? So, uh, luckily for me, I was stationed at Paris Island for my first three years in the Marine Corps, so I was always around drone instructor, and being there as a young PFC all the way to sergeant, like, you watch drone instructors all the time, and you're like, I just want to be, I want to be a drone instructor, so when the time came, I decided to submit my package and pick my, pick my career before the Marine Corps picked it for me, and I end up uh, being a recruiter, going around trying to canvas and having people, trying to convince people to join the Marine Corps. So you, if you could go back, would you, you know, be a recruiter or, or still go the route of a drone instructor? Honestly, if I could go back, I'd go back and be a drone instructor all over again. I'll do it right now if I can. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, exactly how, how is it like, you know, being a drone instructor as far as, you know, the stress levels, as far as, you know, family, and how do you, how do you cope with that? Uh, the, the biggest thing as far as stress level, the stress, stress is pretty stress. It's pretty stressful down there because, you know, you have... You have different avenues, whether you want to make sure that the recruits have everything that they need to accomplish a mission for the following day. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the same time, you have to focus on your family and make sure you're giving your family that time. So it's a, it's a little difficult at times. And, uh, and then you have to deal with, you know, sleep and all kind of stuff and be a mouth not eaten. So it's, it's a difficult transition, but it, you can pull through it with just a little mental toughness. Mm -hmm. And as far as like the schooling, when you went to go actually become a drone instructor, how does that process work? Uh, so uh, drone instructor school was probably like one of the most stressful part of it because uh, you hear all these horror stories about going in. And then when you get there, the first day you get there, they're, they're like, they like pretty much have you weighing in and, and they, you're getting homework the first night you're in DI school. So it's, it's, it starts off with like, you know, trying to mentally stress you out to, to see where your potential is. and trying to it's it's sad to say it's not a school to like 
to feed out people but like if you're not mentally or physically tough then it's going to be a it's going to be a difficult transition for you mm -hmm. and out of like when you graduated how exactly were you mentally were you a bit more different than you were before what you went in or actually uh after i graduated the di school i was a lot more nervous than uh than i was going to di school because it's it's a little transition being around your peers but once you actually get around recruits and and being around them until you get actually comfortable being around the recruits it's, it's kind of weird which you should never get comfortable being around recruits but it's a little transition it's going to be you're worried about are you going to be good enough are you doing anything right what are you messing up are you training them right and you know just try to make sure you're doing your job to the best ability to ensure that you're you know giving the marine corps a better product mm. yeah so as far as like the character you play because i'm sure a lot of people people are wondering you know the character you play as a drill instructor when you put on that campaign cover you're a completely different person you know yeah. it's, it's it's there's the saying where business is business um so you kind of want to touch up on that so uh i'm um, being a drill instructor you have to have a you have to have a light switch and just understand the role that you play. Um, they're they're naturally nice people, and it's it's a little bit harder. So okay, you gotta kind of you know toughen them up because obviously you know you're trying to produce Marines. So in order to produce Marines, you know you gotta be a little, you gotta show some tough love. So um, that's definitely um, you know a route that not a lot of people take, but it's definitely a very you know I guess a proud route. You know being here now, you know being a drill instructor, I'm sure you you look back and you're like, damn, like I did it. You know. Yeah. It's a uh, it's, it's a wonderful feeling coming back to the Fleet Marine Force and actually seeing seeing your recruits well now Marines like doing great things getting meritorious or promoted getting awarded uh, stuff like that and seeing that like the hard work that you actually put in actually you know pay dividend to the core and that's at the end of the day that's what you want to do it's the down there to create create a better product for the Marine Corps to ensure that the legacy lives on and uh you know we keep the Marine Corps around forever let's keep it around for another 242 years oh yeah. Um, and as far as you know your drill instructor um, rotation, how, how was that like the the years you had to serve as a drill instructor? So I did uh, three years on the drill field, uh, two years in the actual training company, then I did uh, one year in the support training battalion uh, with a total of six six cycles uh, equaling up to about 340 recruits total that got trained by, by that I had an influence on. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest thing guys is uh, you know drill instructors are the ones that you're you're probably gonna focus in on the most because they're the ones that are gonna influence you and you know make you become who you are as a person um, you know being a marine um, I know when I went in I always looked up to my drill instructors you know Staff Sergeant Gomez if you're watching this what's up um, but yeah I really looked up to him I always you know saw him like damn I want to be just like him so that's the mentality you get throughout them and that's 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 their job is actually to you know be that role model for you guys and uh, yeah so I, you can expect a lot of hard training I mean I'm pretty sure you can expect a lot of you know screaming so don't take it personal a lot of people what they do is you know they take it personal but that is the role that they play you know as a drill instructor what would you say like your day in the life was pretty much like uh day in the life is you wake up uh you wake up every morning and just you know ready to do your job whether you're tired or not that's not that's that excuse won't won't suffice on the drill field like you're there to do a job and you're going to do your job to the best of your ability because the minute you slack off that's the minute a recruit slack off and that's the that's a different product you're given to the Marine Corps so in order to keep the institution institution strong you have to give it 110 percent at all times Hell yeah. So anyways, guys, if you guys want to see a part two, let me know in the comment section below. But like I said, I really appreciate you coming out. It uh, really means a lot. We actually did kill a workout. So if you guys watched the previous vlog, be sure to go check it out because we, you know, we're smashing some weights. But aside from that, guys, let me know what you guys think. Remember, guys, stay hungry, stay humble. It's your life. Nothing you keep doing you and go about your day. Don't listen to people on the sidelines. Remember, you got one life, your life. Make shit happen or send them the sidelines to mobile life. Like I said, go check them out. I'm going to leave his social media all in the description. And like I said, have a good day. Go get that workout in. Love you guys. That's true. 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 That's true.